today we are going to make this tote bag, which is named as metal. I'm going to demonstrate the standard size of metal in this tutorial. If you are interested in making the bag in a different size, you can refer to my written pattern, which include both standard size and made-to-measure instructions. I will link the pattern in the description box. For materials, we will need two colors of worsted acrylic yarn. 4 mm, 4.5 mm, and 5.5 mm hook, yarn needle, scissors, and stitch markers. We will start with the base of the bag, and we will be using 4 mm hook. Make a slip knot and chain 40. After chaining 40, chain one more for turning chain. Make this chain looser than the other chain as we will be crocheting in this turning stitch later. Now we will start our first row. We will be crocheting in the little bumps at the back of the chain. Single crochet one into the second stitch from the hook. For this bag, we will use yarn under single crochet rather than yarn over single crochet, meaning that after we insert the hook, the yarn should be under your hook. Mark your first stitch with a stitch marker. Single crochet one in each stitch until you have one stitch left on your row. In the last stitch, we will do 3 single crochet in the same stitch. Mark the first stitch with a stitch marker. Then rotate our work and continue doing single crochet into the V shape of the stitches. Single crochet one until the end of the row. You can crochet the tail together so that you do not need to sew it in later.
After you reach the end of the round, single crochet 3 into the turning stitch. Mark the first stitch with a stitch marker. Then slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. For round 2, chain 1, single crochet 1 until you reach the next stitch marker. Remember to mark your first stitch. Once you reach the stitch marker, single crochet increase 3, meaning that in the next 3 stitches, single crochet 2 into each stitch. Mark your first stitch with a stitch marker. After that, single crochet 1 into each stitch until you reach the next stitch marker. Once you reach the stitch marker, we will again single crochet increase 3, meaning that in the next 3 stitches, single crochet 2 in each stitch. Mark your first stitch. Then slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. For round 3, chain 1, single crochet 1 until you reach the next stitch marker. Remember to mark your first stitch. Once you reach the stitch marker, single crochet 1, single crochet increase, repeat 3 times, 
meaning that we need to single crochet one into the first stitch and single crochet two into the second stitch. Remember to mark your first stitch. Then single crochet one into each stitch until you reach the next stitch marker. When you reach the stitch marker, again single crochet 1, single crochet increase, repeat 3 times. Remember to mark your first stitch. Slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. For round 4, chain 1, single crochet 1 into each stitch until you reach the next stitch marker. Always remember to mark the first stitch. Single crochet 1, single crochet increase, single crochet 1, repeat 3 times. Meaning that we need to single crochet 1 into the first stitch, single crochet 2 into the second stitch, and single crochet 1 into the third stitch. Mark your first stitch with a stitch marker. Single crochet one until you reach the next stitch marker. Again, single crochet 1, single crochet increase, single crochet 1, repeat 3 times. Mark your first stitch.
slip stitch to the first stitch of the round. For round 5, chain 1, single crochet 1 into each stitch until you reach the next stitch marker. Once you reach the stitch marker, single crochet 3, single crochet increase, repeat 3 times. Then single crochet one into each stitch until you reach the next stitch marker. Again, single crochet 3, single crochet increase, repeat 3 times. Then slip stitch into the first stitch. For round 6, chain 1, single crochet 1 until you reach the next stitch marker. Once you reach the stitch marker, single crochet 2, single crochet increase, single crochet 2, repeat 3 times.
and single crochet one into each stitch until you reach the next stitch marker. Again, single crochet 2, single crochet increase, single crochet 2, repeat 3 times. Slip stitch into the first stitch. For round 7, chain 1, single crochet 1 until you reach the next stitch marker. Single crochet 5, single crochet increase, repeat 3 times. Then single crochet one until you reach the next stitch marker. Again, single crochet 5, single crochet increase, repeat 3 times. Slip stitch into the first stitch, then we are done with the base. Now we will start making the body part. Chain 1. Back loop only single crochet 1 into each stitch until the end of the round. Mark 
mark the first stitch with a stitch marker. And you can also remove the other two stitch markers. Once you reach the end of the round, slip stitch into the first stitch. And for round 2 to round 12, we will simply single crochet 1 into each stitch until the end of the round. After finishing round 12, chain 1 and cut the yarn. Change to 4.5mm hook and take out the yarn with different color. Create a slip knot. Insert your hook into the first stitch. Loop the yarn and pull through. Chain 2 Make a half double crochet 3 bubble stitch, meaning that we will crochet 3 half double crochet together. After that, chain 1 and make one more half double crochet 3 bubble stitch into the same stitch. Then skip 3 stitches, in the 4th stitch, half double crochet 3 bubble stitch, chain 1, half double crochet 3 bubble stitch. Keep repeating skip 3, half double crochet 3 bubble stitch, chain 1, half double crochet 3 bubble stitch until the end of the round.
Once you reach the end of the round, slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. Then slip stitch into the space between the two bubble stitches. Chain 2 and in the same space, half double crochet 3 bubble stitch, chain 1 and half double crochet 3 bubble stitch. In the next bubble stitch space, again half double crochet 3 bubble stitch, chain 1 and half double crochet 3 bubble stitch. Keep repeating until the end of the round. Once you reach the end of the round, slip stitch into the first stitch. For round 3 to round 15, they will be the same as round 2. Slip stitch into the first base, chain 2, and keep repeating half double crochet 3 bubble stitch, chain 1, half double crochet 3 bubble stitch until the end of the round.
After you finish round 15, chain 1 and cut the yarn. Change back to the first color and 4mm hook. Make a slip knot, insert your hook into the first stitch, loop the yarn and pull through. Chain 1, single crochet 1 into each stitch until the end of the round. Make sure you are doing yarn under single crochet but not yarn over single crochet. Once you reach the end of the round, slip stitch into the first stitch. And we will be doing two more rounds of single crochet. Chain 1 and cut the yarn after you finish round 3. Now we have finished the body part of the bag and we will start making the straps. Start by marking the place you want to add the straps with stitch markers. After that, we will crochet the straps. We will be using 5.5mm hook and the color of yarn that you prefer. We will be crocheting with two yarns together. Make one yarn longer than the other for sewing later. Then create a slip knot. Insert your hook and chain 2. Double crochet one into the second stitch from the hook. Turn your work a little bit to the left and you will see two V signs right under your hook. Single crochet one into the bottom right stitch. Again, turn your work a little bit to the left and you should see a stitch right below your hook. Single crochet one into that stitch.
Keep doing single crochet one into the stitch right below your hook until you reach the desired length of the strap. After you finish crocheting, cut the yarns but leave one yarn longer for sewing later. Make two straps in total. Sew in the shot tail into the strap. Simply insert your yarn needle into the strap and pull it through. Do the same for all of the other short tails. Now we can sew in the straps into the bag. As I'm using the beige yarn to sew into the brown part of the bag, it may be a bit harder to sew because the yarn may show up. I will demonstrate how to sew it in while the yarn is not showing up even using different color. When sewing the strap, try to pull it tighter and do not cross through too many stitches. In this way, the yarn will not show up in front of the bag.
Last but not least, sew in all the ends and we are done. Thanks for watching this tutorial and feel free to tag me on Instagram with your new tote bag.